Hello lovers of chemistry, it's Chemigator, welcome back to my channel. Although no single chemist is credited with the discovery of gold, it's probably the one chemical element that literally everyone has heard of. Gold has a rich history. Some of the oldest and most beautiful ancient art is made of gold, showcasing the incredible durability of this metal. Back in ancient times, alchemists, the ancestors of organic chemists, attempted to transform base metals like lead into gold, a process known as chrysophia in alchemical terminology. This deep fascination with gold is also reflected in mythology, like the famous story of King Midas, who could turn everything he touched into pure gold, what we now call the golden touch. But gold is not just a relic of the past. In modern science, especially in organic chemistry, this metal plays a significant role. Gold has a unique properties that make it an excellent catalyst for organic transformations, revolutionizing the field of organic synthesis. In this video, I'm gonna explore some of the most important applications of gold in organic chemistry. So let's dive in. First of all, let's tackle a fundamental question. What sets gold apart from other metals? In a plus 1 oxidation state, gold has a filled D shell, making it behave more like a main group element. It forms linear, two coordinate complexes but exhibit very little tendency to interact with donor ligands perpendicular to the molecular axis. That being said, when gold is a plus 3 oxidation state, it fully embraces its transition metal character. It almost exclusively adopts the square planar coordination geometry, typical of the heavy D8 metal ions, and exhibits completely different structural and reactive properties compared to gold plus one compounds. Another fascinating feature of gold plus one compounds is their strong tendency to interact with neighboring gold plus one centers or other heavy metals, forming multimetallic aggregates through orophilic, or more generally, metallophilic interactions. These interactions arise due to relativistic effect and lanthanide contraction, which cause the contraction of the 6s and 6p orbitals while expanding the 5d shell. This shift in electron density enhances both pi acidity and pi backbonding, making orophilic interactions a remarkable consequence of these effects. The most important feature of gold in organic synthesis is its ability to coordinate with pi bonds, especially alkyne functional groups, activating them and setting the stage for construction of more complex scaffold through nucleophilic attack. However, when an internal unsymmetrical alkyne is employed, the nucleophile can attack either of the two carbon atoms, making selectivity a crucial challenge. In recent years, a key strategy to control selectivity has been the polarization of the pi bond by installing electron withdrawing or electron donating groups on the pi system. Treatment of this activated pi bond with gold has led to high selectivity. Yenamides are useful substrates that act as donating groups for controlling the selectivity of these type of reactions. In these compounds, a nitrogen bearing an electron withdrawing group such as mesylate is attached to the alkyne to moderate the reactivity of the nitrogen atom. In the presence of a nucleophile like N-oxide or sulfoxide derivatives, the carbon atom adjacent to the nitrogen is attacked by the nucleophile, leading to the formation of alpha-oxo-gold carbenes, highly reactive species that can be utilized in further transformations. In 2018, the groups of Hang, Mao, and Chen designed a beautiful reaction based on the yenamide chemistry to access highly complex tetracyclic spiroindoline structures. Let's take a look at the 3D model of this compound, where a 5 membered ring is fused to the indole moiety, and a 6 membered ring forms the spiroskeleton of the molecule. Additionally, all substituents are installed in a stereospecific manner. Constructing such a complex fused ring system with precise installation of substituents is a significant challenge. To achieve this, a substituted indole was chosen as a starting material where an enamide unit was installed at two carbon distance. In this system, the indole serves as an R group in the enamide, while mesylate acts as an electron withdrawing group. 
Treatment of this compound with pregnant N oxide and a gold complex introduces a carbonyl group into the system, generating an alpha oxo gold carbene. There are two possible pathways for this transformation. Before explaining the proposed mechanism, recall from introductory organic chemistry that a carbon center has two perpendicular orbitals. An empty orbital that can accept electrons from a nucleophile and a field orbital that can attack to electrophile center. Now let's return to our case. In the first pathway, the indole acts as a nucleophile, attacking the empty orbital of the carbon center from its free position. This creates a positively charged nitrogen, which then triggers an intramolecular attack of a double bond, forming the fourth ring and completing the synthesis. In the second pathway, the double bond of the indole is simultaneously attacked by the field orbital of the carbon center at the two position, while the three position of the indole attacks the empty orbital of the carbon center, leading to the formation of a highly strained cyclopropane ring. This free membered ring is then opened through a subsequent attack of the double bond, ultimately yielding the final product. As you see, designing starting materials and installing appropriate functional groups on the system is crucial to access complex architectures. If you are interested in application of such purposeful molecules, check out this video. Aside from the fact that gold can coordinate to the pi system and increase the electrophilicity of an alkyne by decreasing its electron density, it can also coordinate to the alkyne via sigma coordination and increase the nucleophilicity of the beta carbon atom. In 2012, Professor Hashmi, one of the pioneering scientists in the gold chemistry, introduced an intriguing strategy for synthesizing benzofolvilines by simultaneously utilizing both the electrophilicity and nucleophilicity of alkyne functional group through a dual activation mode of a gold catalyst. This approach enables the synthesis of benzofolvilin derivatives from simple starting materials containing two alkyne functional groups, one terminal and the other internal, with the latter attached to a third butyl group. In the first step, gold activates the terminal alkyne via sigma coordination. Subsequently, the second alkyne is also activated through pi coordination. At this stage, the terminal alkyne becomes nucleophile while the internal alkyne acts as an electrophile. As a result, the pi bond of the terminal alkyne attacks the internal alkyne, leading to the formation of a 5 membered ring. The resulting gold vinylidene intermediate is highly reactive and undergoes a 1,5 hydrogen shift. This step is very interesting because it represents a fascinating CH activation of an unactivated alkyl group. The newly formed carbocationic center is stabilized through resonance facilitated by the coordination of the gold atom. In the next step, this double bond attacks the carbocationic center, generating another 5 member ring. Due to the elimination of one gold atom, a monogold species is formed. Notably, this intermediate is equilibrium with the gem diorated compound, which plays a crucial role in the catalytic cycle. This equilibrium is important because diaurated compound produces both monogold species and activated gold catalyst in a 1 to 1 ratio. As a result, the activated catalyst can initiate another catalytic cycle. 